All right, you guys, it is HIIT yoga today. We have three blocks of work. We're gonna be using weights for some of the movements and some movements are just body weight. I'll be using anywhere from three, five to eight pounds and my yoga mat. Each move will be done for 45 seconds with a 13, I think it's 13 second transition, just enough time for you to listen to me, see what the new movement is and then hit it hard. Hey, if you're new to this channel, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Go ahead and plant your feet so that they're shoulder width apart. We're gonna be warming up. All right, set that intention. Inhale, reach it up. Elbows to your back pockets. Reach back up and release long and down by your side. Do that again. So it's nice and slow here. Reach it up, pull it down. Reach it up, so move with intention today. Reach it down by the side. We're gonna be squatting down, chest to thigh. Swing it down, drop and reach. Now, when you drop your body, try to bring that chest towards your thighs. Eyes go down, eyes go up. Give me a little extended back. Let's do a few more of these. Really length. Two more. All right, step out, squat. Other side, take your time. And I want you to really drop your butt to knee height here. And in that squat, shift into your heels. One more, and then we're gonna get to the front of the mat and do a little sun salutation. Fan out, reach up. Dive it. Half lift. Step back into your plank. Chaturanga down to the ground. Up dog, stay here. All right, so give me that length. Curl under, down dog, stay in down dog. And you can walk your down dog. So I'm gonna be barefoot today. Shoes are always optional. Press both heels down. All right, we're gonna be driving the right knee into the chest and then back to down dog. Ready? Right knee, down dog, then left. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. <sighs> Four more, shifting forward and pressing those hips up high to the sky. Two more. Now step that right foot to the front, lunge, hold. Stay there. Step that foot back, let's try the other side. Lunge hold, relax the shoulders. All right, let's add a twist to this. Step that right foot to the front again. Open up the right arm. Let the hips sink here. Hand down, step it back. Left leg, forward lunge, hold. Open up to that twist. Press through the back toe. Hand down, step back to the plank. Chaturanga, up dog, curl under down dog, step or hop to the front, sun salutation again, a little more effort here, reach up, we dive, half lift, really length, step back or hop to your plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, step or hop to the front, one more, building some heat here. Reach it up, dive it, half lift, step or hop to your plank. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, step or hop to the front. Lunge back, right leg, stay here, four times. Chest up, two more, and switch, other leg. Four, chest up. Last one, face front, big inhale. And dive it down. Half lift and relax, drop into your ball. Nice job, roll it up. I'm gonna start off with three pound weights. My weights today will be three, five, and eight. I may only use the eight for one or two moves, but I have them just in case. 
45 seconds of full out effort. And then we're gonna spend, I think I have 13 seconds of transition here. Are you guys ready behind me? Yeah. Are you guys at home? Are you ready? Let's have some fun. That's all you gotta do. We're going in 10 seconds. It's a sumo squat. I'm gonna squat, reach right, then left, then both. Reach right, now left, both arms down, up two times, bring it down, right, then left, down, up. So we have a nice big sumo squat here with a side bend, both arms. And then drop that butt to knee height. And get a great range of motion in your arms. So don't go too heavy. If you can't be long with those arms. Chair, place the weights underneath your heels or your heels on top of the weights. Chair, bring those legs in tight. Arms by the ears, pull the belly in and we squat pulse here. So pull up and in, arms by your ears. All right, we should feel a nice warmth in the quads. And stay low. Beautiful. If it gets to be too much, right, arms can come down. You could do this without the heels lifted. Who's feeling their quads? Anybody? Yeah. Eight seconds. And then we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my five for right angle, reach. One dumbbell. I'm gonna turn into right angle. Reach and pull. Elbow onto the thigh. Reach and open. So things that really work for me here. Turn that foot so it's straight out. You can push that elbow into the knee. Reach down and reach up. And then we're gonna change this to pyramid. So change now, step the back foot in, straighten out the front leg and row. So we're in pyramid, row. Palm faces back. And I want a nice long spine here. Relax, great job. All right, let's go to the other side. So we got right angle with that reach, toes face, that side of the mat. Remember, you're gonna reach down, reach up. And I like to watch where I'm going with that weight. Pull the belly up and in. So remember, halfway we're switching this into that triangle and row. Switch. Right here, pull it in, lengthen the spine and row. Palm faces back. Knuckles down. Give me some great length in your spine. So think about the weight that you're using. Maybe you can go heavier next round. Plank, no weight. Right knee, my real right knee. I'm gonna go to my elbow, slide down to the wrist, back to the elbow, and shoot out. Beyond the knees if you need to. So elbow, slide, shoot back. Try not to give me a single down dog. Hey, Liza, don't move your hips up. Boom, right? Super job. And then in halfway, we'll throw in some mountain climbers here. So here's the modification. I'm on my knee. One more. Can you climb the mountain? We wanna build some more heat here. Press through the hands. Brace that core. Come on, 10 seconds. Relax. Whew. All right, roll your wrists. Other side. It's the same thing. In that plank, remember, take your modification. You can be on your knees. Good posture It's the left leg. Elbow, wrist, elbow, then back. 
The body's smart, it knows how to cheat, right? It wants the hips to go up. I'm gonna watch you, right? I see it. Ooh, can you touch that? Ooh, hold it, here, plank jack, or back to mount climbers. Open and close. Relax, we're gonna be on one knee. So turn to face you guys. Be on my knee. I'm gonna be doing two crunches and then two kicks. Elbow to thigh for two and then long leg kick and open. So give me the length, especially in that kick. And I like to flex my foot. And I can hear everybody starting to breathe a little heavier here. My reach. All right, nice job. Spin around. Right, if you need anything underneath your knees, grab it. If you didn't get it that first time, pulling for two knees and two kicks. Shoulder, hand under shoulder. Two knees, now big kick. Flex the foot if you can. And your tempo, right? So if you need to slow it down and get that range of motion, do what you need. All right, we have about 12 seconds and we start from the top. So you know the move. I want a little bit more intensity on the second round. Woo, okay, we're grabbing. I'm gonna go back to three. Sumo squat, reach right, then left, then both. Take it out wide, weight at the chest. Here we go. Right and left, both arms. Pull it in. Give a good side bend. Use the obliques. I really drop that butt. 10 seconds. You can get one more. Come on. Give me that sweep up. Whew, okay. Taking it into chair. Face the weights down. All right. You can do some deep breathing here too. So get it close. Reach the arms. You can do the fire, so the breath of fire. In and out through the nose. You can activate a little bit more. Anybody you wanna do that? Breathing through your nose really fast. Anybody? Not through your mouth, through your nose. Unless your nose is stuffed up. Oh, come on, sink it. Chin up. Oh, drop that butt. 10 seconds. We get into right angle. I think I'm gonna go for eight. Woo! All right, nice job. I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. Right angle with the reach. Watch your shoulder. Lighter is better for the shoulder. Reach and open. Got to use the core. Lots of shoulder and back. Switch it to triangle row. Bring in the back foot. Palm faces back, flat spine. Can you lengthen your spine even more? Turn your shoulders and hips down. Pull the belly up and in. All right, come on up. 
All right, for me, that felt much better to do the, the eight. But know your body. You got a shoulder issue? Yeah, so Liza's listening. Here we go. Reach. Ground the feet. I do like to be barefoot. Helps my feet stay more grounded. One more. All right, triangle row. Palm faces back, really flat back. So pull the head back, get in alignment. Pull the belly up and in. If you need to, your hand can be on your thigh versus your shin. Woo. All right, weight down, plank, get those wrists ready. We're gonna take that right leg to the elbow, slide it to the wrist. Hold that plank. All right, all right, can you touch this time? Elbow. All right, I'm really gonna try to touch my knee to my elbow. Slide it down to the wrist. Shoot it back. Trying to maintain a beautiful plank here. One more. Climb the mountain. It can be slow, it can be fast. I'm gonna go slower. You can cross the mountain. Relax. Whew. All right, roll the wrist if you need a little stretch. Oh. Okay, let's get that left knee to that elbow. Set your posture. Slide it to the wrist. Push back. Come on, crunch the core to the elbow. Keep those hips down for me. I can catch it out of the side of my eye. One more. Can you plank jack? Tap or jack. Get those hips down. Five seconds, then we come to that knee. Whew. I'm already feeling it. Okay, if you want something underneath that knee, we got that crunch two, kick two. Straight line, two, big kick. Exhale. When you do that kick, you can open to the back a little bit here. Open up the hip flexor. Don't rush it. You're gonna get lots more out of this. by taking a little time. Okay, other side. You gotta say, I like that move. Just feels good. Good for the core, good for your spine. Crunch two, kick, flex the foot. Now after this, you guys get 45 seconds of rest. So that's when I want you to get that water, catch your breath, and then we come back for block two. Come on, good length, good length here. Woo, all right. Okay, take that breath. A couple of nice deep breaths here. Get that water. Oh. And we're gonna move into block two. So I'm gonna grab some water. Just checking to make sure you guys are doing good. Nice little sweat is going on here. Whew. All right, we got a moving squat. So I'm gonna be using my eight. <sighs> moving squat. 
So we're gonna be stepping it out, stepping it in. Get ready, in eight seconds. It could be fives, it could be no weight. I'm gonna hold my weight up, step out, step in, and it's a little bounce. So you're coming into chair, stepping out into that squat. <sighs> okay, keep your eyes lifted, keep your core bracing, and then we come into a body weight movement. 10 seconds, there is a bee flying around here. I know you, it's right in front of the camera. Let's keep it away from us. All right, we got some lunges. You're starting in plank. You're gonna step your right foot forward, connect, step back to plank, then lunge, connect, back to plank. Right foot forward, lunge, connect, plank. Now, if you're having a hard time in plank, right? I'm just gonna lunge, alternating. Come back into chair and lunge. So do what's good for your body here. Great way to use the core. And when you connect and you come up, hey, amazing posture, don't have a rounded back. Try to have a nice long back, so get your chin up. All four. If you need something underneath your knees, do it. I'm using three. My real right leg, my left arm. I tuck in, reach out. Fly and kick. Tuck in, reach. Exhale, inhale. So I'm gonna fly with my weight and do a press back with my leg. Chin up, head back. Round a little bit when you come in, press it out. From up that arm on the floor, you can always go pinky out, thumb in for different. Woo! Relax. All right, switch that. Everybody's good though? My heart rate's up. Girl, that is good. Switch that, all four. Okay, in, fly. So the palm can face the, the inward. Round, extend. This can be done without weight. Now I'm gonna rotate my thumb in and my pinky out. Ooh. And then we're gonna go into kneeling curls. So if you have to roll your mat up, you can use it underneath the knees. And I'm gonna do eight pounds. Okay, kneeling. I want the feet together, the knees open. I drop my butt to my heels, and then I do a bicep curl as I thrust the hips forward. So let's start up here, drop, curl. I don't have to come all the way down, but you have to have your knees open. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Hey, if you need to stand and be off those knees, go for it. <sighs> try to keep your shoulders over your hips. <sighs> so try not to hinge forward. I just want you nice and tall. That's all I'm asking for. <sighs> We have a warrior three with a kickback with just one weight. I'm gonna be using my five. All right, my, let's go on this leg. Warrior three, pull the elbow in. Can you reach forward? Let's angle a little bit here and kick back. Now, if your balance is really bad, a chair would be great. You could drop your foot. But just hold yourself in some stillness here as you do your kickback. When you get to halfway, like right now, drop the weight down and just 
bend and extend that leg that's on the ground. So a single leg pulse. Chin up, head back. Long spine here. Stand up. Oh, right? Okay, shake it out. Let's do the other leg. A little angle. Low impact, high on intensity, right? Warrior, kick back. Now here's some things that I want you to do. Reach your arm by your ear and don't swing the weight to your shoulder. Stop it at the 90 degree mark and then kick it back. Can you flex your back foot, toes down, abs in? Yeah, I want you to do all that. <laughs> now, grab the weight, pulsing squat here. Single leg. Turn your toes down, right? Kind of internal rotation. Pull your shoulders back. Woo, burpee. Option to use weights or not. I'm gonna use my fives when I come up in the burpee. Upright row. You can do lunges or stand and do upright rows. So hands down, feet back, feet in, upright row. Options two, just step it back. Step it forward. Think graceful, right? And precision. Eight seconds. And then we go round two. Whew, moving squat, I'm gonna stay with fives. Oh. See, this block got a little harder, right? <laughs> Come in your chair, we're stepping out, out, in. Here's an option. Come on, fight the gravity here. You gotta keep your head up. Put your butt back. And pull the belly in, 10 seconds. We have that lunge, connect, or alternating lunges. If you're not gonna be on the ground, by all means, hold on to weights. Whew. And when you come up in that connector, guys, I wanna see a flat back, so get the plank. Right foot lunge, connect, come up. So when you come up, it's like a little squat. And you gotta pull the belly up and in. And you go to your own rhythm. You don't have to keep up with me or anybody else. We all have a different beat. When you come up, I want your eyes up. Chin up. Woo, kneeling curls. Oh. Wide. Start at the top. Let me go over here. Drop back, lift up. I need to find a spot where the sun's not on me. There we go. There it is. Inhale, you want harder, palms up. Yeah, because I know you did want harder, right? Thrust the hips forward. Squeeze at the top. And then we're gonna be on all four for that donkey. Whew. All right, donkey. So we're gonna fly and extend the back leg. So we got opposition here. Everything comes in and extend out. 
Exhale as you bring in. Inhale to lengthen. Eye gaze looks out in front. Thumb in, pinky out. Change it a little bit. Pull your head back. Give me some great spinal alignment. Push that leg back, come on. One more. Whew, relax. Whew. Everybody's good? You guys are good? You guys are good, you're great. Here we go. Fine, so when I say pull your head back, that means you're not chin back too. In and fly. So many times we're looking down at our phones or computers. So there's a lot of neck issues going on. Can you really extend that leg? All right, thumb in, pinky out. We got a warrior three coming up here. Woo, all right. Find what you need for that kickback. I'm gonna go to this arm. This arm and this foot. Warrior three, kick it back. Now, flex your back foot, turn your toes down, and reach that arm by your ear. Hey, watch your kick back. Don't let it swing to your shoulder. Remember, we're gonna do that pulsing squat. Three, two, one, bend. Right there, stay in that warrior three. It's just a little squat pulse. Hey, pull your head back. Look out in front, flex your foot. Slow or fast, your choice. Really bend that knee. Relax. Woo. Okay, switch that side. Walk it off a little bit. Shoulders roll them back. Give me warrior three. Extend that arm, flex the foot, kick back. Turn your toes in, arm by your ear, belly up and in. Look out in front. And then remember, we're gonna stay in that warrior, the pulsing of the leg, right now. Bend and straighten. Pull everything back. Flex your back foot. Woo. Okay, you guys did great. We got burpees, last one. I'll give you a break. You guys ready? Burpee with that upright row. <laughs> Bend the knees, shoot back. In the upright row, elbows wide. My feet go from wide to narrow to wide. Head up before you lift the weight up. Eight seconds. And you have rest. Thank goodness, right? Woo! All right, you guys, great job. That was definitely tough, right? Was it? Okay. Yeah. I'm dripping sweat now. Woo! Okay. 25 seconds, getting ready for the first move. It's getting a little confusing, so I thought I'd show you right away. Woo! Single leg down dog. Watch this one, guys. 15 seconds. Right leg, single leg, flip, lift, single leg, kick. Get in plank right now. Right leg is single leg, flip, lower lift hips, return to single leg, 
Now kick through and lift the hand up. Single leg, flip, hip lift. And then a kick through. If you wanna not lift it to single dog, you don't have to. Make it your own. You can go right into the kick. And then just single leg. I kind of like that, right? After you do the wild thing, you can kick it right through. Go to single leg down dog. All right, relax. If that's a hard thing for you to do, single leg down dog to ankle connect. I'll show you what that looks like. Single leg to ankle connect. You can even be on your knees. Single leg flip, hip lift, return and kick through. So you get some flexibility and obviously strength and core. There's a lot of components to this one. And to me, this is where barefoot really is a great place to be. All right, come on up. One weight, crescent lunge. We're gonna face this direction. Right leg, tap back. We'll do half with right and then half with left. Right leg, crescent lunge where we tap the foot to the front and the back. Keep the eyes up. Use the breath, Ha! Huh, right? Pull the weight to your hips. Switch. It's gonna be a quick transition. Front knee is bent the whole time. Tap your foot to the front for me, Liza. See, I'm gonna be on you because I can see you the whole time. Right? <laughs> Three seconds. All right, relax. All right, this is a really fun one. Half moon. Half moon. Bowler. Best side. Half moon hold. Bowler or curtsy, you can call it. Half moon. Then curtsy. Pause. And what do you want to do with that top leg? If you want to flex it a little bit here. Pause in that curtsy. Push that hip out. And pull the shoulders back. You got five seconds. And we move to the other side. This is a great way to work your posture muscles. Hold it. Can you hold this? Oh, yeah. You weren't ready for that, were you? Come out. Let's do the other side. Half moon. Curtsy. Stack the shoulders in your half moon. Open up to that side. Hey, my foot is flexed. And when I come into that curtsy, it's ready. Less hand in half moon. More leg and core. Are we okay? That's okay, you fall with grace. We are gonna hold that curtsy. Come into it, hold that curtsy for me. And then I'm gonna use one dumbbell. One eight pound weight, coming up. Have the feet really wide. Lunge to that right, hold, shift to the left. Hey, you can turn your feet out a little bit. That's too much. All right, you're here. You can walk over. We're doing little yogi squats here. Keep your eyes up. Pull the belly up and in. Now remember, all this can be done without weights. So if you're on vacation, or you're someplace where you don't have a lot of equipment, do this without weights. This definitely will work. 
on your back. I'm gonna use my fives. Two of them. Tabletop legs. Everything goes down, everything comes up. So reach away and then pull in. Your back can lift from the ground and then oh, push it into that mat. So we have tabletop legs, or you can even call this position dead bug with a reach away. Inhale, lower down. Use that core. My palms are facing one another. If it gets a little heavy, touch the weights together. Okay, we are on the elbows. I'm gonna shoot my feet back, forearm plank. I'm gonna interlock my fingers. Going into dolphin, I push the hips up, hold. All right, transition the feet maybe in a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your lips to your fists. So shift forward, then press back to dolphin. And again, lips to your fists, press back. Use your core. Inhale, you're moving forward. Exhale, you're coming back in that dolphin. Press into the balls of your feet. Super job, okay. We're back at the top. Single leg down dog. Flipping it. Are we ready? Last time through. Let's take that right leg single leg. A little slippery. Flip it, hip up. And then take it through to that kick. Bang, come on, you know it now. Single dog flip. Woo! Have a little fun with it. If you do pile with us, you are nailing this, right? Bam. If you haven't tried pile, oh my God, you need to. Ten seconds. Come on, get those hips up. Woo! Carol, you stopped a little early. All right, let's switch. I know I'm getting a little slippery here. Here we go. Nice job. Let's get that left leg ready to go. Single dog. Flip it back. Give me hips. Give me a powerful kick through. You feeling it? You get glutes. <laughs> I can hear some squeaking from the sweat drips on the mat. All right, you got eight seconds. And then we have, ooh, crescent lunge. Oh, grab a weight. I'm just grabbing a five. So crescent means, right, I'm gonna take that left leg or right leg back. This is crescent, tap. Pull it in. So keep your front knee bent. This can be done without that weight. Keep your eyes up, nothing to look down at. Switch legs, quick, go. Doing amazing. Whew. Come on. Two, one. Okay. Half moon to that curtsy. Nice deep breath. Get in that half moon. Pause. And step that leg behind the shoulder. Ooh, I'm a little wobbly, how about you? <laughs> that could be a little fatigue. Ooh. 
Ooh. Hey, when you get into that curtsy, shoulders back, chest up, abs in. 10 seconds, and we're gonna hold it again. But this time when we hold, we're gonna hold half moon. So can you hold that half moon, get there? Hold half moon. All right, see if you can lift that bottom hand from the floor. Step the feet in, other side. Readjust, half moon, curtsy. You gotta get that foot ready to balance. Get an option to flex at the top. Ten seconds, and then we're gonna hold. And once we come out of it, you grab one weight for those shifting lateral lunges or yogi lunges. Hold half moon. All right, a little less hand. Maybe you lift it. Step the feet in, grab a weight. Open those legs nice and wide. Shift it over to the right. Stay low, over to your left. Okay, you can lift those toes as you shift. It can be slow. Get some inner thigh when we do this movement. You can always bring that weight closer. Helps you with your posture. Get that butt down. If you're having a hard time getting that butt down, there's something going on in those hips. Preventing that mobility from happening on your back. <clears throat> I'm using fives. We do that tabletop legs. Everything reaches away. So everything goes down. Everything comes up. If your back is sensitive, it can be one leg and one arm. You get lat, you get core. Forearm plank. Take those legs back on your elbows. Dolphin. This is it, you did so amazing here. Three seconds, in off the fingers, hips up. And then bring the lips to your fists. Press up. Can you work through the balls of your feet here? Doing amazing. This definitely is a little bit more of a challenge today. So listen to your body. Relax. Knees down, sit in child pose. Great job, you made it through. Ooh. You're gonna take yourself into down dog. Hips go up, you guys stay in down dog. I'm just gonna shut my timer off. Oh. Mm. Give me a single leg. So let's do that real right leg. It's up to the sky. Bend your knee and then open that hip. So you're gonna drop the heel back a little bit. If you need to modify this, you're gonna drop that knee to the ground and you can come on the elbow and open that hip. So if you need to modify this, All right? Bring that knee forward for pigeon. The chest lifts up. Release that foot. Give me length. Oh, and then go into it. Drop the head down. Relax the shoulders. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Whew, you did great today. That was definitely a little bit more challenging than our yoga hit the first one. 
I thought you guys whew, could go for a little bit of extra something. We're gonna keep that leg in that position. You're gonna press yourself up, taking the back leg, swinging it around, planting it to the outside of that knee. Did you get all that, right? Is your chest up? <sighs> Spinal twist. Ooh. That was a hot, sweaty one, huh? <sighs> so always make sure too, like, I didn't have a towel today, but towel off, that helps you so you don't slip and slide. Did you have a towel? I know, we didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be that sweaty. Although I did call it hit. All right, release and just do some knee sway. So let the knees drop to one side. Shoulder space up to the sky and then drop to the other. Don't let the shoulders turn. And relax. All right, let's just swing around all four, down dog. So now it's really the left leg single dog. Bend the knee if you want to modify. Drop that right knee to the ground. And then let that heel drop behind you so you get a little opening of the hip. Bring the knee forward into pigeon. Foot can come out. It depends on you know, how far that foot can come out, your mobility in your hip. <sighs> Inhale and then release down to the ground in your pigeon. Hmm. All right, let's take it up. And then the back leg, swing it around into the outside of that knee. Give it a little hug. So get the length and then give me that twist. You guys, you worked hard. Oh. and then release, legs out in front, little shake, shake. Big inhale, reach all the way up to the sky, lengthen the spine up here, and then exhale, fall forward, hinge forward, maybe you can grab onto the leg anywhere you want to, dropping the nose to the knees. Roll your spine up and then bend the knees and really give me a nice slow roll down. So really start to scoot forward, tuck under and come down as slow as you can to the ground, stopping where you feel like that low back and you tuck under a little bit more. Grab the back of your knees for me and really scoop out that core and hold. And then release the spine all the way down. Let the head relax, let the legs go along. Take a nice deep breath. Let the feet flop open, the palms open up. And we are gonna finish with a Shavasana, but a couple of things that I wanna just plant, some seeds. Make sure you do subscribe if you haven't. Share this with a friend. You can find me on social. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Reach out to me, I love hearing stories from you guys. It really does make everything that I'm doing feel like it's just reaching way more people than I thought. So we're gonna finish here with a couple of nice deep breaths and I'll let the music run and I'll let you guys enjoy. Namaste.